<clears throat> one of these boards that we're about to unbox is literally a grail. So this board, it's so up there. It's so hard to find, man. I'm so stoked that I got my hands on it. Three, two, one. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Dez360 and welcome to Flipping Boards, the channel where you get to join me as I go on an adventure, a quest. I'm charged up. I am charged up because I love skateboards and I love cardboards, AKA trading cards. And you get to join me as I build my collection, as I buy boards, as I sell boards, as I flip boards, learn so much about the culture and uh, drop some tips on how you can do it too. End up with a couple extra hundred bucks in your pocket, a couple extra thousand bucks in your pocket if you do it right, if you learn the craft that is the art of flipping. Today, we are gonna unbox some, some cool skateboards. One of my favorite brands. Today we're gonna do a primitive skateboard unboxing. And uh, you know, we're going Dragon Ball Z today. Dragon Ball Super actually. Hey, all my Dragon Ball Super fans, drop a comment. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe because we're gonna get it in. Unboxing some boards. I'm gonna tell you about the boards, how much I paid for them. And um, <clears throat> one of these boards that we're about to unbox is literally a grail. Grail status means, oh, basically super hard to find the board. Super duper rare. So we're gonna unbox three primitive skateboards right now. Talk about them. You let me know which one's your favorite. So I got this big box here and there are boards in it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. So some of you guys might be asking, hey, how do you have all these boards? Well, I scour shops, internet, all that, you know, but I, and I build my collection. I build my collection. So I built up my collection over a couple years and now I'm at the point where, hey, I have to get rid of some boards so that I can buy new boards. So that's why this started. That's why this whole channel exists because I'm like, look, <laughs> I have a problem. I love skateboard decks and I just keep growing them and growing them. So at least in the process now I can sell some, make a little money and then just honestly reinvest that and just keep it going. So I'm working on my personal collection, basically figuring out what it's gonna be like now. What boards am I gonna keep? What boards am I gonna sell? Um, it's a whole process and uh, yeah, I love it. You know, like I said, I love skateboarding. I grew up a skater, grew up around the culture, grew up, you know, I was that kid with the Osiris G bag. If you know what that is, you're a real OG. Um, and now here I am. You know, years, decades later, uh, still loving skateboarding, you know, everything and watching the culture grow. So, OK, now that that's all handled, let's get back to the boards. We're going in. We're going in. We're going coo. <laughs> Yo, check it out, guys. We got the Goku Super Saiyan God primitive skateboard right here. This is just an iconic skateboard. I think it's super, super sick, man. Paul Rodriguez 8.0. You get your orange background. You know, Goku always wearing that Saiyan orange, that little swaggy suit right there. Keep him powered up nice and strong. And then he went God mode. And for once, he's not smiling. You know, Goku's a very happy guy. Goku's usually smiling all the time, but he probably had to, he had to get ready. So um, yeah, this board right here, and here's some of the nuggets. Here's some of the gems I'm gonna share with you guys. When, you know, when these primitive boards drop, cause there's like, not controversy, but you know, skateboarders in the skate culture, there are so many different types of collectors, right? And people in this culture. Um, primitive has some of the coolest graphics ever because they've, they have licensing agreements with like Naruto, with Dragon Ball Z, with Sailor Moon, with all these cool brands that like catch the eye of people that aren't skaters, you know what I mean? To be completely honest, you know, people that aren't skaters. And that's the cool thing about the culture. You don't have to necessarily be a skater now to have decks on your wall. Some people are happy with that, some people aren't. But at the end of the day, I really think that like whatever keeps skateboarding growing, like the art of, you know, the, the culture growing is great for the sport. Like the Olympics are coming up, all these things. So skateboarding is still in the infant stages, infancy stages of like what it's gonna be. And I believe skateboarding unifies people so much. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> primitive boards. This board, I, I like to rant a little bit. You know, I get into it, I'm passionate about this stuff. Um, so these primitive boards, like 
It's super interesting. You can buy a board. Let's say this board retailed, I believe for like 70 bucks, right? So I, let's say I pay my $70, bam, I have this board. But there are like, everyone has the board. You can find it at Zoomies. There's all this controversy. Oh, that's a Zoomies board. Dude, Zoomies is a skate shop. Like they're gonna have boards and it's fine. You know what I mean? Like we don't gotta trip on everyone all the time. So this board, you get it. And let's say right now there's like a surplus. So everyone has the board. But then like a year passes, you hold the board for a year. Now, all of a sudden, the board that you paid $70 for, you know, maybe in the beginning, people were paying 100 bucks. They're all like just trying to get their hands on it. But or maybe they weren't because they're all at Zoomies. A year later passes and like the scarcity, like there are less, you know, that board's not getting reissued. So the board's now worth, you know, 120, 140, 150. That's kind of what happens. So a lot of times you'll see some of these releases and it's up to you. You know, that's why I say buy what you enjoy because you, you know, this could be totally wrong. It could be a whole year and the board is the same value. So it might end up staying on your wall. So just understand that read markets, learn from it. Um, this board in particular retailed 70, but now it's already going to be rare. It's already rare. And the more like, that Dragon Ball Super continues to grow and the more that Primitive just keeps crushing it and they're putting out other decks, they're on to the next. So this board right here, you know, you look on eBay, 150 bucks. Like that, that's it, you know, the going rate, maybe more. Some people have it for 200 bucks, but like there, there, there's profit to be made. But at the same time, like if you, you know, if you dig Goku, you'd pay that, I'd pay that. I mean, I have a Pokemon skateboard over here, uh, custom. I paid, you know, almost 200 bucks for it because I love Pokemon and it's on the board. So that's all that has to do with it. Flip it over to the back, you get your primitive with the cool green background. Super cool. P-Rod, another nice board, Paul Rodriguez. He got all the, all the fire graphics. Let's move on to the next board. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. let's go okay okay so check it out ladies and gentlemen we got the goku boom super saiyan rose so it's another paul rodriguez primitive skateboard goku super saiyan rose so i have a story about this board because this board right here when it first dropped it was gone in a second you know primitive released it um and zoomy all that stuff it was gone everyone gobbled it up everyone wanted to get their hands on this board and i see why it's a freaking amazing graphic look you always have to think in the future two years from now like this board is going to be harder to get you know so um everyone trying to snatch it up now because it's iconic like leave it on your wall like like what bro goku super saiyan rose like what you want goku black you know so um i love this board uh, as i mentioned 8.0 and you know you, like they're probably going for like 120 now um but i mean in the beginning i've seen people were paying 150 like it all depends it's all supply and demand uh if you got lucky enough to get it for 70 80 great um but i think this is a board to snag if you don't have it added to your collection because it's only going up it's only going up it's only going up that's what happens skateboards are collector's items so if you're a collector get to it beautiful pink on the other side i dig this board and uh, i'm not gonna lie you know i have a couple of these have a couple of these bad boys so sick man so sick i couldn't get my hands on it so i had to i paid extra like that was that's the truth you know i couldn't get my hands on it on the drop so i'm like i'm paying extra man i need that i need it so let me know if you have it uh, or if you need it. Drop a comment. Okay, drum roll, please. You guys are amazing. If you've been watching the video so far, make sure to like, comment, subscribe because there are just so many more boards, a lot of tips and all that good stuff. Um, and it's not just about boards. So grabbing some stuff. I told you it's skateboards and also cardboards. So real quickly, just to show some love out here. I got mine. I got mine. You got yours. Dragon Ball Super trading cards. We out there. Son Goku, you understand me? Son Goku, SS3 Goku right there. Got Frieza, got the whole squad. So, <laughs> which leads me to this board right here. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. <clears throat> Grail alert, it's about to go down. So this board, it's so up there. It's so hard to find, man. I'm so stoked that I got my hands on it. Three, 
two, one. Every time I look at this board, I shake my head because it's fire. All right, here we go. Bam, bam. There it is, yo. Goku Black, Silvus, Miles Silvus, Goku Black, Primitive Skateboard. You got the red hollow tin foil, you know, hollow foil red. You got Goku Black. And uh, man, what a board. What a freaking board. This is a grail, so hard to find. Like, scoured the internet. Like, this board came out a couple years ago. Like, it's a wrap, man. <laughs> It's a wrap. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this board, uh, it, it's personal collection worthy for everyone, I think. It's so, so iconic, super rare. But, you know, just with anything, the right price. So I'm throwing it up online. The right price can come around, get the board. But, man, search near and far. What do you guys think of this? So sick. And then your question could be like, what makes it rare? Well, before, like, um, a lot of the Dragon Ball, like first it was released in limited quantities. Secondly, um, before like Primitive was really popping off with the Dragon Ball Super stuff, like this got out. So it's just so limited. It's just hard to find and everyone's like, and then it's the board. Like the graphic itself is the hardest graphic out with the red hollow in the background. Super cool. What do you guys think of it? Is this a grail? Is this a grail? So there it is guys. We just did three boards right here. Um, but I will say, I, I've seen this online, 500 bucks. Not, no joke, 500 bucks. People are gonna pay it too, because like there aren't any. It's like either you don't have the board, you don't own the board, or you pay 500. What are you gonna do if you really want it? So that's that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we'll do a quick recap. Look at the swag, look at the swag. Goku, Super Saiyan God. Goku, Black, Super Saiyan Rose. And of course, the grail. Bam. There it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. Again, my name is Dez360, flipping boards. We're charged up, planet Namek. I gotta go visit King Kai. I gotta go get it in. We got the primitive skateboards. Always shouts out. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.